The verdict is in on the coroner inquest into the death of 30 year old Solomon Fakiri at a Lindsay, Ontario prison. Jurors have ruled that his death should be seen as a homicide. Shauna Hunt has been watching this case develop. Shauna, what could you tell us about this verdict? Yeah, well, Melissa, the jury was tasked with deciding how they thought Solomon died. They were given a number of options, uh, including accidental, suicide, undetermined, and so on. And as you said, they did come back with a homicide verdict. And this is a big development in the case. When Solomon died uh, back in December of uh, 2016 during that violent struggle with jail guards, the OPP investigated, but criminal charges were never laid. Uh, now, initially, his cause of death was listed as unasked ascertained, meaning that there was no specific injury that would explain uh, his death. But during the inquest, the jury heard from Ontario's chief forensic pathologist who conducted his own investigation and determined it was a perfect storm of injuries, health conditions and events that ended Solomon's life that day. And also heading into deliberations, the coroner's counsel called on the jury to deem this a homicide, saying this death was tragic and preventable. And uh, as we all know, this is what the jury came back with today. Uh, and Melissa, what's really interesting about this is that a homicide verdict does not translate into automatic criminal charges. Uh, the OPP can reopen this case if they choose so, uh, choose to do, but they are not obligated to do so. Thanks for that, Shauna Hunt. With an update, we've been watching for on a case we've been watching for some time now. We appreciate that. We'll see more from you tonight on City News 5 and 6.